All right, we just talked about MBR and GUID, which, as you might remember, are different types of basic disks. Now we're going to talk about the very different types of dynamic disks. The one I don't have listed is simple, but we'll talk about it. We have simple, we have spin, mirrored, striped, and RAID, and specifically RAID 5. Once again, if I go to my disk manager, and click on one of the right click on one of these you'll see i've span striped mirrored and raid 5. there are other types of raid but windows 10 supports only raid 5 without additional software so when i talk about a simple disk uh, in in we're talking now about a simple dynamic disk i mean that i'm using it like a basic disk so to speak it's there's nothing spanning two volumes uh, it's all on one one volume on one physical drive that would be a simple dynamic disk now even though it's not spanning anything it's been converted to dynamic spanned means that i'm now spanning across two drives so uh if if this were say uh a hundred gigabit uh, gigabytes and this were another hundred gigabytes i could have a 200 gigabyte drive it would look like a 200 gigabyte drive because i'm spanning across two physical drives now mirroring would mean that i'm taking these two drives and i'm i'm everything that i write to this one i'm also going to write to this one everything i delete from this one is also going to delete from this one so that i've got two copies of the same drive and that way, uh, if one of these goes down, crashes, the other one will, will give me some redundancy so that I can save my data. Now, striped is kind of an interesting uh, idea. Striped, a file would write a, a little bit of it to this drive, and then a little bit of it to this drive, a little bit to this drive, a little bit to this drive. I have to have both drives in order to have the complete file. Why would I want to do that? Because if two of them, two disks can write faster than one disk, uh, this disk only has to write half of the information and it's done. This one only has to write half of the information and it's done. So it's very, very fast. So striped disks can give you a lot of speed. Finally, RAID can be various combinations of spanning, mirroring, and striping. Uh, it turns out that RAID 5, in, in particular, is striping and something called parity. Now, parity is unique with RAID. That's not You don't see a parity class over here. But parity uh, means that we're doing some mathematical formulas. You know, we're striping it, but we're doing some math such that we can reconstruct bad data. And we can reconstruct a whole drive's worth. With RAID, you, uh, RAID 5 anyway, you have to have three disks. And you could pull one of those disks out and plop another blank one in, and it would reconstruct that entire disk. That's parity. So you have the, uh, the speed of striping. And you've got the, uh, because of parity, you have the um, redundancy of mirroring. It's not really redundancy, but it's like redundancy. And so you have the best of both worlds with RAID 5. Next, we're going to talk about virtual hard drives.